Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today we're looking at bum 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 Halo Wave 5 Sergeant Johnson. I saw this in Tab Out that they had him and they had which one was it? One other one. I can't remember which one. Uh one of one of these Wave 5 ones. So Wave 5, we can see Master Chief top left, middle top is ODST, then we have Sergeant Johnson, then bottom left is Grunt Grenadier. Middle is the Arbiter Theo Vadam. I have no idea. Or Vadum. I have no idea how that's pronounced. And then we have Spartan Lock. Um, so I'm not sure if Way 5 actually released. Because I've had people uh, commented on my tour video saying, Where do you get that from? I haven't seen any Way 5 yet. So I've no idea. But I saw it in Tab out this one. And he's the one that I really wanted out of these figures on the back. So I snapped him up straight away. Looks pretty good. Seems to have the standard sort of marine legs. Um, or one of the marine legs with a different colouring and the armour on the body looks different, the same we'll compare a bit later and he comes with an assault rifle which I don't like because it's got that bar at the bottom which makes it hard for figures to grip and also these halo figure guns are very bendy plastic, too, too rubbery he looks pretty cool though, he looks, in fact I'll take that back, he looks pretty fantastic I think, pretty awesome so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this, unbox him and then we'll take a closer look so let's get into this so here he is, looks fantastic. Now you can see the gun is bent. It didn't come bent in the packaging, but for him to hold it like that, you have to bend this really rubbery gun at a really sort of bad angle so you can hold it with two hands. Um, the gun looks all right, but look at that. That's just ridiculous. Way too bendy. And he's got a little peg so it can fit on his back there, which does look pretty cool, has to be said. So let's take a close look at the figure, first of all. So... Let's have a look. Head sculpt is really nice. The paint apps are decent. The eyes aren't bad, to be fair. Simple but very effective. I love his armor look. I love the seriousness on his face. The hat's pretty cool. Very, very nice. Um, I think we've seen this knee. It's not these knees. I think this shin armor sank similarly before on the Marines, but we'll have a look in a second. Very, very nice. The back armoured again, the shoulders, I'm a bit worried about the shoulders, I think that is going to really impede articulation and the legs and the boot. Looks, boots, looks really quite cool. So let's look at his articulation. So, left, right, there's an up, down and not really side to side, shoulders all the way around. But lateral, yeah look at that, terrible. The pads get in the way. And also he comes apart very easily at the waist. Uh, bicep bend. Again, that's not great. That's well under 90 degrees. I'll be tempted to shave some of his arm down to get some more of a bend. Wrist goes all the way around and it's wave articulation. In both hands? Yeah, in both hands. Waist you saw is the same like a Fortnite joint. But, yeah, he pops out easily. What you probably want to do is sand around the edges of this. So I'll slot in and pop in deeper. or make him a little bit shorter, but he won't can pop out so easily. So he can turn from the waist slightly. There is no real forwards or backwards or side to side. You sand it down more, he'll get that. There is small waist, but again, his upper body will pop out. Uh, hips. Fantastic, look at that. Very, very good. Forwards is good. Backwards is minor, but it's still okay. There is a twist on the hip. There is double kneecap, knee joint, very good. There is no boot turn, unfortunately. He gets a pretty nice tippy toe, has to be said. His dorsiflexation. His tee His Michael Jackson is all right. And he should have yeah, small swivel in, barely noticeable, and slightly better on a swivel out of the shoes. Um, articulation's okay, but the sculpt gets in the way, so I will probably be uh, taking a box cutter knife to him in the near future and getting 
cutting down some of the parts of the bicep so he can go further. I like those shoulder parts, but that, artic that articulation really sucks. So I would, actually I'd probably shave down this shoulder part here. Not the actual part there, but on top here. Because then he'll go slightly further up. I will be shaving down, sanding down the, the edges of this so he pops in more securely. I might be tempted to shave down the edges or sand down the edges in this so he can actually get a, a turn. So you see it's the same setup as a Fortnite figure. So there may be some cross compa uh, compatibility. I'll look in a short while. So let's compare them to a couple of marine figures. So I've got one of the uh, earlier marines here. Let's get him posed so we can stand up next to him and not fall over. Or try not to fall over. And then we've got one of the newer marines with these, with these sort of sand camo on the uh, legs and on the uh, forearms. Yeah, so kneecaps are different, the armor on the shin is different, the chest armor is, yeah, this is simply almost a brand spanking new sculpt. Very nicely done. I do like that a lot. He he does look really good. And these these uh, Halo figures are fantastic army builders, the Marines. You can get free pack for the sand. Um, and it's worth getting, you know, two free sets. So with the... I think I've got now Marines, maybe I've got blah, 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 six or seven, and he can be my sort of leader there, though I won't use him in the Halo universe, but in my own universe, so, yeah, does look really, really nice. Since we're doing comparisons, let me pull out some more 118 scale action figures, see how they size up. Here is a, uh, I think this one's a Captain America Hydra Soldier. Who is a touch taller, but still scales well. Let's use a Fortnite figure. Scales well. And then lastly, I'll use an Acid Rain World figure. Who I think is going to be probably the biggest of the bunch, but we will see. And he is, yeah, he is a fair bit taller, but nothing that wouldn't stop them from being in the same universe together. So if I just move these around a little bit, we can have a look. Still can work together in the same universe. Very, very nice. Now let me have a quick look at the cross compatibility between between this uh, Sergeant Johnson, the Marines, and also the Fortnite figures. So they should be the same setup, or the head should be the same barbell attachments. Have a look since that came off. Yeah. Anyway, that head is on quite secure. I'll do this off camera. Get more leverage. That does not want to come off. His head looks to be different, in fact. His head here is not a barbell from what I can see. It looks to be, you can see in there, like the old Marvel system, the Hasbro system, where it's a joint. So I don't know if that head is secured in or not, um, which is a shame. Anyway, let me, let me uh, continue. So the Marine, I'm hoping I can pop apart easily. There we go. And if I swap him over, again, this will make him taller. Oops, this will make him taller, but he can't really pop in you'd have to shave or extend this okay so let's get my ream back together let's have a look at the uh i just lost a part or something oh it's over here let's just have a look at the um what's it called forgotten let's have a look at the fortnite figure sorry okay so fortnite figure this is one that i've repainted you think it looks the same that's because i've done the same colors but slightly darker so just for compatibility sakes
Why am I taking that off? I should either leave that one on. There you go. That is a decent fit. The colours look a bit funky, but good compatibility with Fortnite, which is good. So you can swap over the legs easily. Just that head, I'm a little bit worried about how that is going to work. Mm, interesting, but very, very nice thus far. I think he is a, a great looking figure and a great addition if you're army building the Marines or whatnot. Looks great. The gun, not so much. Um, can you do dynamic poses easily? Let's have a look. Need some work with a box cutter knife. But not too bad, all things considered. Um, can't dynamic pose as easy as perhaps I'd like because the articulation is suffering at the waist. But once you shave or sand some down, he'll get a much better range of motion. And even a little bit extra will help with his balancing. Fantastic looking figure. I paid way too much because obviously it's brand spanking new, not really available in many places at the moment, as far as I'm aware. I paid in UK pounds, put about £20.50 or £21, which is way too much, about double the price they would be if it was in a shop in the UK. I like it. I'm glad I bought it. But would I buy another one? Yes, I would at the same price. Hell no. I'd wait till they come down the price when they're more readily available. Okay, this is Awesome Match Toys signing out saying please like, share, subscribe. I'll be back soon with more Awesome Match Toys video reviews for you guys. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.